Good for his mercies and for his mercies and glory. Oh, the devil is a liar. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Woo! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, appeal. We should give him about 30 more seconds of worship, of praise, of honor. Come on, somebody. Last week you couldn't do this. Last week you couldn't do this. But you have the opportunity right now to bless the Lord. Let your praises come from the inside. Let your praises come out. Let your praises come out. The devil doesn't like this. But let it go up. Let it go up. Praise is comely. Come on. Hallelujah. I feel burdens are lifted. I feel yokes are burst. I feel chains are broken. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody lift him up. Somebody lift him up. He said, if I be lifted up from this earth, don't trouble me here. I feel like praising, praising him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the evening. Praise him. Resilience. Godly confirmation. We are very resilient today. We are bouncing back. You didn't know that you had that praise. Bounce back today with that praise. Bounce back today. The devil is a liar. Don't let him put down no guilt trip. Don't let for whom the sun set free. I said whom the sun set free is free indeed. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Jesus, may you love me. You gave your life to redeem me. You suffered, died on a tree. Jesus, I know you love me. Come on, praise the name. Jesus, I know you love me. Oh, Jesus, I know you love me. Oh, you gave Jesus, 
Somebody lift your hands and say, oh, Jesus, I know you love me. Oh, you, you gave your life, life to redeem me. me. Oh, you suffered and on the tree. you to confirm your 
our love for our awesome, great, awesome God. Praise God for him. Hallelujah. Confirm your love for him this morning by joining us in praise. Join us in worship on this Mission Sunday. Praise God. It rained last week, so we didn't get to have it. So this week, we're focusing on the mission. Praise God. And the theme of today's Mission Sunday is resilience, godly confirmation. I want you to repeat that with me with a roar. Hallelujah. Resilience. Godly confirmation. Praise God. Enjoy the service this, this morning. Hallelujah. As ambassadors. Hallelujah. And as his ministers and missionaries, we can be resilient. Hallelujah. In fulfilling our godly commission. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we have the godly confirmation hallelujah of the backing and the support of our great God hallelujah praise God he has confirmed the success of this mission we are resilient hallelujah say it with me we are resilient hallelujah because he is with us because he is with us because our God is with us. Hallelujah. We are not alone. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's good to not be alone. To be confident that God is with us. Let's worship the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. God bless you. Can we all stand? Never alone. He promised never to leave me. Never to leave me alone. Oh. I'm a 
never, 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 never to leave me. Leave me alone. Confirmation me we have today. Come on, never to leave me alone. I wonder if we want to lift our hands before we read the scripture from Luke 16, verse 15 to 20. Lift your hands right where you are. I want you to look at the things that God brought you through, and you will see the confirmation in this song. I want you to lift your hands and sing it softly right where you are without any music. Look look back at, at the situations that he brought you through. To leave me alone. I believe we should sing it one more time. Come on, no, never. No. Look at the confirmation. If it had not been for the Lord, for the Lord who was on my side. Alone. Where would I be? Where, where, where? He where? promised never oh, to leave me. Never to leave me. Never, never to leave, to leave me. me. Oh. I've seen the lightning flashing. Come on. I've, I've seen, seen yes, yes. the light. lightning flashing in somebody's I life. Thunder's rolling in somebody's life. The time is rolling. Oh God, oh God, oh God. And I felt sin's break. break. What a God, what a God, what a God. Oh, trying to, to conquer my soul. I've heard, I heard the voice of my Savior. He's still talking to you. He's still talking to you. He's still ministering to you. Don't you give up. Don't you give in. He promised never to leave me. Hallelujah. 
never yes. to leave me right there sing the chorus right where you are right where you are no. yes 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 let him do it let him do it come on come on let him do it no hallelujah what an assurance hallelujah oh my yeah. god what an assurance to leave me I wonder if somebody wants to bask in his presence. Oh, Jesus. Let him console you. You've been through Jesus. you've been through a lot. Yes, 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 yes. You have been through a yes, lot. Yes, yes, yes. You yes, are yes, still yes. going through a lot. Let him console you. He promised. Yeah. We have a promise. Never to leave me. Whoever you are, he's talking to you. You have already thrown the towel, but he's still talking to you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. Let him do it. We're not going to go through the motion. Somebody's going through something deep. Somebody's going through something deep. And there's a visitation here. Hallelujah. There's a visitation. Hallelujah. He Speak comes to fix Lord. it. Jesus. From sinking sand. Yes. He lifted, he lifted me. Oh, hallelujah. With, with tender hands. Let him lift you. He lifted me. Oh, God. Hallelujah. From, from shades of, of night, night to plates of light to rays of light oh, oh praises yes let him do it he knows what you're going through God he's lifting you right now right where you are from sinking sand from sinking sand sand he lifted me with tender hands he lifted me from shades of night night to play of life oh hallelujah hallelujah oh praise his name oh praise his name he lifted me as the Lord continue to work we're reading from St. Luke 16, verse 15 to 20. You're not disturbing the presence. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead. Yes, Holy Spirit, reign. Let your power fall. Awesome in this place, God. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless God. I'm giving somebody 30 more seconds to just open up to him right now. 30 more seconds just to open up to him and say, God, have your way. If it's not you, Lord, no one else can do it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If it's Thank not you, you, Jesus. Dear Lord, it's, Dear Lord, it's nothing. nothing. If it's not you, it's, it's nothing, nothing at all. If, if it's, it's not you, oh yes, then Dear Lord, it's, it's nothing. nothing. <laughs> oh, God. It's not to be. Oh, oh God. Hallelujah. Go Reading from St. Luke 16, 
verse 15 to 20. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is abomination in the sight of God. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man pressed into it. And it is easier for heaven and earth to pass than one tittle of the law of, to fail. Whosoever putteth away his wife and married another committed adultery. And whosoever married her that is put away from her husband committed adultery. There, there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and feared sumptuously every day. Praise God. And, and there was a beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Shout it on the mountain top. Proclaim it. Hallelujah. Well, shout it on the mountain top. Proclaim it in the city street. Oh, sing it out where you go. Everybody you meet. Oh, tell them that Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He's coming. Jesus is coming. Yes. He's coming. Let the whole world know that Jesus is coming too. Shout it on the mountain top. The left is sweet. Oh, tell it everywhere you go. Everybody, tell somebody that Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. This is coming. Let the whole world know. Jesus is coming soon. Oh, shout it on the mountain top. Oh, prepare the city Oh, everywhere you go. Tell everybody you meet. Tell everybody you meet. Oh. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Yes, he's coming. Let the whole world know that Jesus is coming soon. He's coming soon. Hallelujah. Let the whole world know Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it. Shout it. Shout it. Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the sanctuary hallelujah hallelujah praise god hallelujah don't stop the worship brethren hallelujah it's good to be in the sanctuary in the presence of the lord giving him thanks and praise hallelujah praise god we are resilient brethren we are resilient we still we will stick, praise God. We will stick to the task of reaching the whole world with the whole gospel. The whole gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Pandemic or no pandemic. Praise God. Praise God. We will not back down. Praise God. Persecution or no persecution. We will not surrender. Hallelujah. Let me hear your agreement. Praise God. Hallelujah. We will preach the gospel to every person that is within our reach. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our families, our friends, neighbors, people on the road, people on the bus. Praise God. Every person that is within our reach within our sphere of influence. Praise God. Hallelujah. We will preach God's holy word in season, out of season, rain or shine. Praise God. COVID seasons included. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are resilient because we are promised success. We read it in God's word. We have been promised success. There will be those who hear his words 
and believe and request baptism. Hallelujah. And they will follow through the process of being saved. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We will not labor in vain, brethren. Praise God. This is the confirmation that we have from our God. We have that from him. Amen. Some of our seeds will indeed fall on good ground. Not all of them will fall on wayside soil. Amen. Not all of them will fall in thorns or thistles or on stony ground. Amen. Our seeds will fall on good ground and it will bear fruit. Hallelujah. And bring forth, hallelujah, results. Some 100 fold, some 60 fold, and some 30 fold. Praise God. And some of you are in that number. Somebody planted a seed, amen. And you are among the 100 and the 60 and the 30 fold. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we will send the light that those who are in darkness can see. They will see Jesus and they will find their way home. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us sing this morning. There's a call come raging over the restless way. Send the light. Send the light. There are souls to rescue. There are souls to save. Send the light. Well, we have heard the master's call oh, today. Send the light, oh, send the light, and the golden offering at the cross we lay. Send the light, well, send the light. Send the light, send the light Oh, the blessed gospel light Let it shine forevermore Oh, let us pray that grace everywhere abound Send the light, oh, send the light And the Christ light is everywhere be found Send the light Send the light, oh, send the light, the blessed gospel light. Let it shine from side to side. Send the light, the blessed gospel light. Let it shine forevermore. Let us grow, let us not grow weary in the work of love. Send the light, oh. Let us get a jewel for the crown above. Send the light. Oh, send the light. We need it. The blessed gospel. Let it shine from shore to shore. Send the light. The blessed gospel. Let it shine. Hallelujah. 
forevermore. It reminds me of the scripture where it says in heaven, there is no sun. He is the light. There's no other light but him forevermore. That's Jesus. That's Jesus shining forevermore. Are you looking for that day, brethren? Are you looking for that day? Hallelujah. Shine forevermore, Jesus. Hallelujah. We are resilient. Praise God. Because his word tells us that he, the Lord, is working with us. Praise God. Confirming his words with signs, hallelujah, and wonders, hallelujah, so that no devil can stop us. That deserves rejoicing, celebrating, hallelujah, to know that we have a task from God and no devil in hell can stop us. Hallelujah. Clap your hands this morning. Hallelujah. What a blessed assurance. Praise God. In fact, he has given us the power to cast out, to expel them, to silence them, so that we are resilient no matter what opposition we face. Hallelujah. Whether it's flesh and blood or demons, we conquer them all. Hallelujah. Praise God. Deuteronomy 33 verses 26 and 27 tell us, there is none like unto the Lord God of Jeshurun, hallelujah, who rideth upon the heaven in thy help and his excellency on the sky. Hallelujah. I have to say that again. Hallelujah. Praise God. There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun, who rideth upon the heavens in thy help. And in his excellency in the sky. Hallelujah. I can just picture it right now. Hallelujah. Praise God. The eternal God is thy refuge. Hallelujah. And underneath are the everlasting arms. And he, hallelujah, shall thrust out the hallelujah. enemy from before thee. And shall say, destroy them. Hallelujah. The everlasting God. Hallelujah. He's still our refuge. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm so excited this morning. Hallelujah. We are resilient because nothing can stop us from fulfilling our mission. We are resilient because nothing can stop us, period. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We remain resilient. We remain Jesus strong. Nothing can harm us. Nothing can hurt us. Praise God. So we are resilient this morning in fulfilling the mission of God. The Lord bless you. Be encouraged. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Come on. Rhoda Isabella said, I'm still breathing. Turn to your neighbor and said, I'm still breathing. My heart is still beating. He said, I shall live and not die. But I shall declare, but I shall declare, I want you to stand to your feet right now. The fact that you're still alive means that he's still working on me. I said, I'm still breathing. Turn to somebody else and tell him, I'm still breathing. My heart is still beating. I said, turn to somebody else and tell them I'm still breathing. I feel God here. Somebody said, no arm, no arm, no arm. No arm, no arm, no arm. The devil can't do me no arm. Start it, come on. No harm. Yeah, no harm.
Rasta Foster, I want you to put back up to you. Deuteronomy 33. Talk again. I want Sister Raquel just to read it while everybody listen. Or you want to follow. Hallelujah. Come on. He said, there is none. Go ahead. I want you to listen carefully. Praise God. Go ahead. There is none like unto the God of Jeshura. Repeat what you say. Who reigneth upon the heaven in thy help? Who reigneth? And in his excellency in the sky. And in his excellency on in the, the sky. sky. Again, there is no God like unto Jehovah. There is none like unto God of Jeshurun. Who rideth upon the heaven in thy help and in his excellency on the sky? Praise the God. Eternal God. Come on. The eternal God. Somebody is hear me. Thy refuge. Yes. Come on. I want you to repeat what and she's saying. The eternal, the eternal God is the refuge. I want you to hold on a minute. I want you to personalize it. My refuge. The Come eternal on. God is my refuge. Hallelujah. Repeat it again. The, the eternal, eternal God, God is my refuge. Hallelujah. Come on, go ahead. And underneath are the everlasting arms. And underneath. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee. And he shall thrust out the enemy. My God. And shall say, destroy them. And shall say, destroy. No harm, no harm, no harm. Somebody sing. Oh, yes. No harm, no harm, no harm. The rock, the rock is I and I. Oh yeah, Jehovah, I'm under the rock. God tell my enemies, I'm under the rock. Oh yeah, Jehovah, I'm under the rock. I am under the rock. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, the rock is I and I. I am under the rock, the rock is higher than I am. Oh, Jehovah, I am under the rock. Yeah, go to my enemies. I'm under the rock. As we're about to collect our offering, I want us to bow our heads reverently while Sister Darwin bless the offering. Amen. We follow the instruction of the ushers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, he is able to save. He is able to keep. Able to satisfy. Oh, my God is able. I know. Oh, 
said yes 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 God says yes 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 God says yes 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 somebody say no God says yes God says yes yes hallelujah clap your hands to God somebody come on he's worthy to be praised He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Our God is worthy. 
I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. Yeah, I don't know what you came to do, but said I came to praise the Lord. Said I don't know what you came to do. I came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah! 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 You can't do you. Well, I came to praise the Lord. Yeah, I don't know what you can do. I came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah! 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 Say, I went to a meeting one, one night. night. Oh, and my heart. Was it right? Yeah, something got a hold on me. I went to a meeting one night, and my heart was not right. Oh, something got a hold on me. Oh, Jesus got a hold on me. Yes, he did. I went to a meeting one night, and my heart was not right. Jesus got a hold on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. He's a great, big, wonderful God. Always victorious. Always watching over us. Heal my body. Touch my mind. Save me just in time. I'm going to praise his name. I'm going to praise his name. I'm going to praise his name. Praise him. 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 Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hold on. I don't know what you came to church for. I know all of you have good seats at home. Better seats than we have here. So you don't have to use up our own. You could stand and worship. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a living room chair like you, but I got, I got something I could sit on. But I got a feeling. I got a feeling God's gonna touch somebody this morning. Yeah, I got a feeling. Everything's gonna be alright. You could stop worrying about the rent. Cause everything's gonna be. Stop worrying about the car. Huh. Uh huh. Now, we've not been in the church for a little while. Sister Sterling, it's good to see you. Sister English, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you for a long time, but God's in the house. Now, Sister Watson, I've been combing the congregation until my eyes kind of find you. It's good to see you. I know you don't want me to call you out, but it's good to see you. Praise God. I went to a meeting one night. All right. Now, now, now I promise we're going to maintain our social distancing and we're going to continue to believe that God will protect us. But I feel, I feel like we ought to just welcome somebody. Two persons, just give them a, a fist, an elbow, a elbow something. Can you touch somebody with the elbow? And say, good to see you. Good to see you. I welcome you back to the house of God. Come on, do that. Even if you have to leave your seat, come on. Two or three more persons, come on. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, Miss Pauline, it's good to see you. Ah, yeah. Woo. I wish I could call you all by name. Praise, I've got to praise a 
and I gotta let it out. I've got to pray. Come on, somebody, come. I, I got to pray. I've got to pray. And I got to get it out. I've got to pray. I've got to praise, I've got to praise, and I've got to let it out. Sunday morning, I've got to praise. Praise Him, praise Him, yeah. 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 You may be seated. Thank you. I got myself in some trouble because I start calling some names. This is a palmer. This is a plumber. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is the plum. You got to praise. You want to give her that dance again? I got her. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Something down inside of me telling me I ah, something. something down inside of me telling me to go away. Something down inside of me telling me to go Over the last little while, a number of us have gotten sick. And even this morning, we are praising God with some things in our systems that are not supposed to be there. But I, I kind of have a feeling that as we worship, there is an anointing that is coming in this house. Before this service is true, I want to declare somebody is going to receive your healing. If you can press beyond your feelings, if you can press beyond your circumstances, if you can ever put the case before God. getting harder and not can afford to give up I can't afford to give up I gotta go on though my way gets harder I know I can make it I know I can make it I know I can make it uh, all right let me be the let me be the preacher i know you can make it ashley i know you can make it sister watson if you could say with me i know i can make it i know i'm gonna make it I know nothing is going to stop me. One thing is certain. The devil can touch the body, but he can't touch my mind. He can't stop my progress. He can't stop what God is doing for me. He can't stop what God is doing to me. He can't stop what God is doing to me. He can't stop what God is doing for me. So I gotta praise. I gotta praise. I got a feeling I don't have to give up this pulpit because I feel a preach coming on. I feel like God is ready to release somebody. 
Only if you just lift your hands. Only if you just let go and let God. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. But I promise I feel something different in the house. Chance if you could, if you could just understand what I'm feeling up here. Woo! Ay, 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 ay. God has come down to receive his worship. the glory Lord take the glory Lord take the glory Lord the anointing makes a difference hey shut up oh God oh God hey healing Sister Natalie Carter, receive your blessing. I, I, I wish. I wish we wouldn't stand in the way of somebody's blessings. But I have a feeling, Brother Palmer, nobody's standing in the way of somebody's blessing. Because sometimes the Lord wants you to stand or you just sitting down. You're just kind of sitting down and you're blessing or you don't know that you're sitting down and you're anointing. You're sitting down and you're healing. You're sitting down and you're what? Israel missed the time of their visitation. Oh. You, you may be seated. You may be seated. Truly, you may be seated. There is an anointing in the house. Brother Teller, it's good to see you. Amen. Brother Teller is coming to us from another assembly, but he's worshiping God a long time. Bible believing Christian. We welcome you, Brother Tuller, to the house of. You want to stand again and just give a shout, Brother Tuller? Hallelujah. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's something I can't explain it, but I feel it. There's something I can't explain it, but I feel it. It's, it's, it's doing something to us. It's doing something to us. Yes, Brother Ramsey. It's, it's, it's doing something. It's doing something. If somebody could just understand when the anointing, when you, your angel come to visit with you. Somebody on the podium. Somebody on my left. Somebody on my right. The Holy Ghost has come to visit with you. He gets Sanda. Lord Jesus. I, 
I wish for the farm I had your voice. I'd sing this he healing in his hands for you. Reach out and know there's healing power, power flowing. Bring all your pro can pieces. I know we have a program, but we can tear it up the because God is doing something. Shama can make you new. There's he. Lean in his hands for you. Oh, there is he in his hands for you. Reach, reach out and know. folk who have joined us by sign oh, of there is healing, there's healing in his hands for you in his hand for you oh, turn that feeling over to the Lord reach out and know yes. there's healing power flowing oh, bring your broken pieces to yes, yes, yes. the one whose love oh, can God. make you new. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. There's healing in his hand. There is healing in his hand. All over this congregation, there's a healing that is coming to you. But Palmer, you want to hum it a bit? That I feel the healing hand of God reaching across this congregation. You're feeling a pain that you never told anybody about. But the Holy Ghost has come down to be your doctor this morning. The devil whispers that you're going to die, but he's a liar. God is just giving the material for a miracle. Resilience, yes. godly confirmation. Yes, Brother Palmer, thank you. That is beautiful. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Somebody's receiving your healing. Somebody's receiving the anointing. I don't know where your mind is, but God is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Your healing is already here. The next time you go to the doctor, you're going to see results. Come on. Let your faith go. Release your faith. Release your faith. Release your faith. Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a hot surge of the Holy Ghost. Feel the warmth of the Holy Spirit as it move over your body. Come on. That's the anointing. Get used to the anointing. Get used to the anointing. It's not that we can't say much more. We're giving God a chance to move in your life. You can't pay for this in the doctor's office. But the x-ray is being done. MRI is being done. But more than that, the corrective measure is taking place as we speak. Somebody need to lift your hands and receive it. Come on. Right now. You are putting some things back in place. You are taking out some things that should not be there. You are performing a surgery without hands, God. And I thank you. Eko Shanda. Elabasha. Glory. 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 The Lord knows you have carried this thing for too long. There is a surgery taking place. He's not frightened for your worship. Hallelujah. There is a move of God. There is a beautiful move of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody just wanted to say thank you, Jesus. Come on, one more time. Two, three. Thank you. One more time. Two, three. Thank you, Jesus. For all the persons that are receiving healing right now, would you thank the Lord? Two, three. There's something about when you're grateful, God doubles the portion that He's giving. Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Nothing shall by any means harm you. For the Holy Ghost is in total control. Thank you, Lord. Let me, let me just quickly 
get out of the way so the Holy Ghost can continue to do what it's doing. I want to remind you that at 3 p.m. we have our junior church exercise and all the persons so concerned we're asking you to please join the team with ID number 558-416-2752 as a ID number password 403262. So you could join the junior church on Zoom at 3 p.m. Then on Wednesday there is fasting all day in the sanctuary and wherever you are we ask that you observe a day of fasting and prayer i'll just condense what i was about to say in these few words we are inviting all capital a l l all saints of life tabernacle to a very very urgent saint meeting on wednesday at six all saints of god who are members of life tabernacle we are inviting you to a real urgent meeting at six there are some critical decisions that we are going to be taking and some critical information that we must pass on to you so we are inviting you please don't neglect to come we know some people are waiting it won't be a bible study it will be a time where we share very pertinent information and i don't want you to get it from any other saint it is important that you understand the parameters for yourself so you can properly prepare yourself and your family to respond to God in a very special way. So we are inviting all saints this Wednesday at 6 p.m. for a powerful saint meeting. We look forward to sharing with you all our membership we really want we're going to be doing some major shift in how we go forward and we want you to be a part of this on thursday at six at eight th sorry and thursday at 8 p.m we will be having finally our mali meeting that has been rescheduled because of unforeseen circumstances but this thursday via zoom we are inviting all the mali persons to share with us we're going to make the next one in person so because we want participation we are going via zoom this thursday but all married members of the assembly or couples we want you to please note and then we have youth service on friday via zoom at 8 p.m we want you to please observe all these very important meeting exercise sister paula owens our ladies ministry president would like to meet with all ladies immediately after service very briefly so after the altar service sister owens would like to meet with all the ladies of the sanctuary we give God honor and we give God. I'm going to want you to stand and lift your hands and receive another blessing from God as you praise Him. Come on. Would you stand and praise God? Come on. Lift Him up. Lift Him up. Lift Him up. He's worthy. Lift Him up. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. I'm a glad pilgrim on my way over in Cloverland. There's something about our praise that he loves is something about our praise that they appreciate something about when you praise god yeah oh what a united praise something is happening in the house there's a drastic overhauling there's a drastic move of god there's a drastic 
renovation that is taking place oh god i feel the holy ghost moving into families moving in place touching lives you may be seated If it's night or day, nothing can lead me wrong. Feeling his presence ever near, why should I weep or sigh? Knowing I have a home in glory by and by. Amen. What a wonderful feeling in my happy soul. He's mine. He's protecting me from the heat. Keep it me, I will surely do. I know my Redeemer will lead me safe. It's true. Fully believing, trusting God, giving Him all the praise. Leading me from the path I trod, never with voice I'll raise. He will be with me to the end, comforting with His Glad pilgrim on my way, going to glory land. Jesus, my only hope and stay, holding me by the hand. It is to understand things that I never knew. Keeping my, Keeping my promise to the Lord, I'm going through. Amen. What a wonderful feeling. From the heat and cold, I do whatsoever he bids me. I will surely know. I know my redeemer will lead me, set me through. I live in trust in God, giving him all the praise. Matters on him, it's night or day. Ever to him will pray. Oh! 
Whatever He bids me, I will surely do. I know my Redeemer will lead me, save me through all this. What a wonderful feeling! My Somebody worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. Hallelujah. And in this beautiful atmosphere, it's my pleasure to ask Minister Paul James, the one that has been selected to bring the word, to come with the word of God, receive him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You might as well give him some praise. You might as well give him some praise. Guarantee you that if you praise him. him I have a right to praise him hallelujah I think I'm in good company Look where he brought me from. There is no way I can be in this house and not praising him. Because there is an apostolic shift that has come down in this house. Hallelujah. Has unrooted some things. Has taken some things out of the way. Has slain some demons. Some devil has been killed. And some way has been made clear. So that I can praise God for his goodness towards me. And the benefits that he has accorded unto me. The writer says when I look back over my life. And I think things over. I can truly say that I've been blessed. I've been blessed just being here. I've been blessed just being woken up this morning. I've been blessed because the devil has no power over me. I've been blessed because I'm standing on the promises of God. I am blessed because the anointing is still with me. I am blessed because I still believe in the power of the written Lamb. I'm blessed. <laughs> and I've got power to fight this old flea foot and be victorious. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I don't know about you, but I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I am blessed. So the Bible says, Be ye comfortable to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Because a warfare has been accomplished. Hi, hi, hi. And I have received double for your trouble. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but I stand to tell you. I stand to tell you that the warfare has been accomplished. Hallelujah. Because you've got the mighty God with you. You've got the everlasting Father with you. You've got the Prince of Peace. You've got Jehovah Shama. You've got Hallelujah. Jehovah Shalom. You've got Jehovah Testing you. You've got Jehovah Inkadish. You've got Jehovah Eleanor. You've got Jehovah Marak with you. I'm blessed. No devil in hell is going to rob me today. I walk into liquid anointing. 
I walk into the power and presence of God. I'm gonna make good of it because there are days in my life when I'm down and out. Hallelujah. But he has brought me to the banqueting house and he's spun over me its love. No devil, no demon, no darkness is gonna rob me. He watch over me. I say he watches over me. Allah, God Almighty. I say he watches over me. I'm resilient this morning. Good God from glory. A long while I've not felt this power. Hallelujah. 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 Does anybody have a shout left anywhere? Does, it, does anybody have a shout left anywhere? Don't let no devil stop you. Does anybody have a shout? Shout for yourself. Shout for your husband. Shout for your wife. Shout for your children. Shout for your grandchildren. Shout for your neighbor. Shout for your job. Shout for your manager. Shout for your supervisor. Shout for your doctor. Shout for your promotion. Shout for your development. Shout for upliftment. Shout for your anointing. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. says make a joyful noise unto the Lord all he land serve the Lord with gladness come before his presence with singing knowing that the Lord he is God it is he that has made us not be ourselves if he made you he has interest in you if he made you your character is known unto him God, God Almighty. The devil thought he had me. But Jesus came. Y'all not talking to me. And he grabbed me. And he held me close. So I'm wrapped up. I'm tied up. I tangle up in Jesus. I can't be unloose anymore. I can't be unloose anymore. I, I, I am I am stable with him. When Jesus comes, every power is broken. Often time we can see the devil being late. So turn my attention to the book of St. Luke's Gospels chapter 19. My God, I feel God. See, I feel God. I'm resilient. I'm convinced that God has visited us today. I am convinced that some of us are going to leave here being packed up with the Holy Ghost and fire. I'm convinced that some of us are going to leave here being charged in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans. And he was rich. Ain't nothing wrong with being rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was 
little in stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was to pass this way. Tell your neighbor, a visit is planned. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. For today I must abide at thy house. A visit is planned. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they murmured, saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. That's all right. I'm going to ask Pastor to pray that the Lord will... Lord Jesus, we stand before you just lumps of clay. Unable to know tomorrow. Our yesterdays are past. Today is all we know. And as we stand in your presence, and your manservant stands to break the bread of life. Infuse him with power. Infuse him with anointing. Let him speak as your oracle. As thus saith the Lord. And we promise we will praise you. Speak to us now. Do what you need to do. In Jesus' name. Can anybody say, touch me, Jesus? Come on, touch me, Jesus. We are indicting in a good matter. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I feel a little bit intoxicated. Glory be to God. I think I'm at a place in my life in terms of knowing the Lord. Where I can truly say he is incomparable. He is incomparable. You may be seated in his presence. Nothing to be compared with him. There's no force. There is nothing in creation or nothing to be created. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And we are living in the day and time when technology is at an advanced stage. And right. People are yes. doing things and making robots and, and all sorts of things are going on. People now taking upon themselves that the world is overpopulated and they're doing things. People are doing all sorts of things as if they can override or supersede God. But he's self-existing. Am I talking? He, he stands by himself. Hallelujah. He spun the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he in the same time seated on the circles of the earth. And while he's doing that, he rides on the wings of the wind. He is incomparable. I'm so glad he found me. And he made something beautiful out of my life. For a short moment, we look at this passage of scripture and we see where Jesus now came to Jericho. Amen. Jericho is one of those cities that is preached about often. Amen. Jericho has a legacy. But also history says that Jericho was a cursed city. Joshua cursed Jericho. Oh, hallelujah. It doesn't matter what man's curse in your life. Listen to me carefully. 
when Jesus shows up the paradigm shift oh hallelujah because now when Jesus came he brought the gospel to Jericho there was a man that needs Jesus hallelujah and so in order for that man to be saved Jesus went to where he was oh glory be to God I don't care what your Jericho looks like I don't care how cursed your Jericho is Jesus has planned a visit for you oh, oh hallelujah hallelujah you see the gospel has what it takes to change and to transform lives and atmosphere oh hallelujah and when Jesus shows up things are gonna change curse Jericho hallelujah has experienced a power that they have never experienced before we read it in the scripture when Jesus decided to meet with Zacchaeus they murmured now look at Zacchaeus he was Zacchaeus was not at all a welcome character no wonder he lived in He, he was a cursed man in a cursed city. The, and, and, and there is something extraordinary about this man. They said he was a tax collector. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. But other than being rich, other than having status in Jericho there was still something about him that has worked there was a void in Zacchaeus's life that must be filled the monies he had could not help him the power he had in that city could not help him so when the writer says when Jesus comes the tempest power is broken there are some powers around that must be broken because it has held your family members bound. It has held your neighbors bound. It has held your friends bound. But I stop by to tell you that Jesus has planned a visit. And when Jesus shows up, everything must be turning to his direction. When Jesus turned up, Zacchaeus heard that he was in town. Hallelujah. And the Bible said Zacchaeus sought to see him why to know who he was in other words Zacchaeus was powerful but he heard that someone of stature is in town when Herod heard that Jesus was born he called his cliques he says go find him and when you find him bring me words that I you liar you may go and worship him he felt threatened because there is a king in town that supersedes his kingship there is a king in town who is a king of all kings and he felt that if he destroy this king then he will reign some more I stop by 
tonight to tell you that if the king in your life is not King Jesus, there is a visit planned and it's going to happen today. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. When Zacchaeus inquired of Jesus, he inquired of him because he wants to know who is this man that is showing up in Jericho because Zacchaeus, you would agree with me, has got some clout around him. He's rich. He controlled the taxes of Jericho. Hallelujah. So he is one of the public figure that everybody know. And he was most hated. Oh, hallelujah. So he wanting to know Jesus. Not, not necessarily to be saved. He was curious, Rev. Just, I just want to see what this man looked like. One look upon the master's face. <laughs> Hallelujah. He never knew that if he comes in contact with Jesus, his life would be changed. He never knew that if he looked upon him, something is going to get a hold of his soul. He never knew that if he looked on this man, something is going to be miraculously transfigured in his life. So he sought him to see who he was. Was that what the scripture says? Now, other than being rich, other than having recognition, this man was short in stature. So when he probably looked out and saw the swelling crowd, because let me tell you something. Anywhere Jesus is, there is noise. I don't hear you. You can't keep him quiet. You can't lock up Jesus in a box. You can't close him up in a four by four wall. If there is a group of people that knows his name, once you get into that auditorium and begin to call his name and begin to give him praise and begin to lift him up and begin to glorify him, the elements is going to respond. The atmosphere is going to respond. Jesus cannot be locked up in a box hallelujah hallelujah especially for those of us who have come to know him as lord and savior every now and then you shout his name every now and then you give him praise irrespective of where you are you can't shut him up oh hallelujah hallelujah we can tell the world about this you can tell the nation you can't shut him up So he sought Jesus. He wanted to see him to know who he was. For those of you who sought him because you want to know who he is. If I should stay here, it would tell me now and eternity. But if you sought him with all your heart, you will find him. Hallelujah. And when it is over and done, you will come away being a changed person. Because if you sought Jesus, you will find him. I stand to tell somebody today who have not yet had a savior. You have not yet met this Christ. You might heard about him. You might sing about him. You might hear people talk about him. 
today he has planned a visit because he wants to meet with you one writer says he's the heart mender hallelujah he's a broken heart mender and if your heart is broken he's able to fix it he's the savior of the world he's the deliverer he's the rock of salvation he's the balm in gilead he's a strong and mighty one he's the rock of all ages he's my strength and my song he's light in my darkness he's strength when i'm weak he's bread when i'm hungry jesus is that and more now this man was rich yet he sought to know jesus it means then that there was something that could have been added to his stature oh hallelujah oh hallelujah so what he did he ran ahead of the crowd and climb into a sycamore tree hallelujah because based on where he is and based on the formation of the crowd he could determine that they're going to pass down here I don't know where you is on Oliver Road. I don't know where you is on Windward Road. I don't know where you is in Harbor View. But run ahead because Jesus has planned a visit and he's going to pass your way. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And so this little man ran ahead of the crowd. Climbed up into a sycamore tree. He never knew that Jesus had a plan for him. Oh, hallelujah. He never knew that some things are going to change in his life. Hallelujah. And so when Jesus got to where he was, I can only imagine Zacchaeus looking down with anticipation. Because from a distance, he can only imagine that that man is Jesus. The crowd was too thick for him. So as it get closer, he could determine some things. And as Jesus, who knows all things, knew from before he got in the tree that he would be in the tree. Am I talking to anybody? Jesus, who knows all things, know that he is full of shortcomings and must be met today hallelujah i don't know at what stage you're gonna climb up in your sycamore tree i don't know how far you are from getting to the sycamore tree as a matter of fact when i looked at the sycamore tree it is a huge tree it says it grows 75 up to 100 feet hallelujah and more and the span is actually as the same it means therefore that Zacchaeus has got to got help to climb up in that tree. Zacchaeus, let me tell you something. When Jesus is ready for you, everything that is available to you will become available for our use in the hand of you who seek the Lord. Nothing is a hindrance when you desire to meet Jesus. Nothing can stop you when your purpose is to know him. Zacchaeus climbed this tree. I don't know how he did it. They have some expensive ladder these days. You can fold them up, climb on them like a bench, and do all sorts of things. Zacchaeus was rich. Probably he had bought one. Probably he had asked somebody to run down with this ladder for me and lean it on that tree hallelujah but zacchaeus climb the sycamore tree hallelujah he never really knew what would have happened let me tell you something if you are hungry and thirsty for righteousness you shall be filled you don't know how you're going to be filled because you have never experienced 
coherence him yet but all you need to do is to be hungry for God he's always available all you have got to do is to present your need before him Zacchaeus desire to know him not to live for him but to know whom he was and it was right for him to do so because God has planned a visit to go down to Jericho for this man I am convinced that there are other people that were saved in that great move but Zacchaeus was singled out hallelujah I stand to tell you today you might not be a rich man you might not have clothes and wealth you might not have fame to your name but Jesus has planned a visit for you you might not be in Jericho physically but wherever you are is your Jericho for today I start to tell you that he has now entered that land and your need are known unto him hallelujah and as soon as you climb that sycamore tree something is gonna hold you until he gets to where you are Zacchaeus stood and looked down nobody had to tell Jesus that Zacchaeus was there because he's the all-knowing God Bible says when he got there he stood and look up Jesus is looking up at your mess Jesus is looking up at your downtrodden Jesus is looking up at your weakness and he looks up because he has an antidote he has planned a visit for you so Jesus look up It is because you are important to him. Hallelujah. He could have passed by. He could have diverted. Because Zacchaeus was not the only sinner in Jericho. Oh, hallelujah. So he could have got busy saving other lives. I stop to tell you under the sound of my voice that today is your day. Jesus has come to your Jericho and he's standing at your sycamore tree. He knew you before you got there and now he knows that you are there. He stands where you are because he wants you to know that he recognizes you. Jesus recognizes you close up he recognized you from a distance he stood at the sycamore tree and he looked up at Zacchaeus why there is something about Jesus he has no problem making eye contact with you Jesus has no problem looking into your face hallelujah there are some people you don't even want to look at there are some folks if you see them coming you look in the opposite direction there are some people because of fear you glance at them but you don't really look at them Jesus wants you to look in his face so he look up and when he looks up he calls him watch this watch this he could have just stopped and say come down let me tell you something Jesus loves you with an everlasting love his love is unconditional hallelujah and he will move heaven and earth for you to understand that he loves you and whatever it takes Jesus will apply it. Now, 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 when Jesus stops at the tree and look up to Lazarus, he could have just said, come down, young man. He could have just said, come down, you old sinner. He could have said, come down, you thief. He should have said, come down, you robber. He should have said, come down and give the people them back their money. He could have said so many things. But let me tell you something. When Jesus looks at you, he looks with a miracle. You don't get this. You don't get this. Anytime Jesus looks at you, his look carries a miracle. Mm. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Anytime Jesus looks at you, it means something. Jesus wants to be personal with you. 
Oh hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. He could have sent angels. But he came himself. Why? It's a personal relationship. That he's seeking with humanity. When he looked up. He called him by his name. He's calling your name. I say he's calling your name. Because he wants to be identified with you. He says Zacchaeus. Make haste. In other words. Probably he might get timid seeing that this powerful man call him. And I wonder if he should come. Wonder if he should, should I really come. He says, no, come quickly. Don't, don't, don't hesitate. Come. Any of you ever feel dirty till you're afraid before go before God? Well, not, you know, because I'm not talking to the safe and righteous. You have ever been at a place where you are so, you felt so unclean and unworthy that you don't even want to call his name much more to pray you wonder if you should close your eyes you wonder if he's going to hear you let me tell you something today this day salvation is come to your house hallelujah come make haste and come because salvation is come to your house Zacchaeus was not expecting that but when Jesus show up hallelujah to the Lamb of God some things must change lives must be arranged make haste and come Zacchaeus came down. Well, he had no choice. He could not help himself. I want to say in closing to somebody. Probably on more than one occasion. You have resolved in your mind that you are going to serve the Lord. But for whatever reason, it has never happened. You're concerned about what your family is going to say. You're concerned about how your job is going to be affected. And there are so many different things that will derail your purpose for God. That will become hindrances and stumbling blocks in your way. If you allow these things, you will never submit to the Lord. God says to Zacchaeus, hurry up and come. Come, come down quickly. Come down quickly. I want to say to somebody today, be quick about it because there is an anointing that you have to be careful lest it pass you by. Be quick about it. I want to say to somebody today, hurry. Be quick about what you're doing in terms of giving your life over to the Lord because this day, salvation is come to your house. This day, you can speak of this day. Hallelujah. You cannot speak of another day, but this day, Deliverance has come to your house. This day, this, this day is designed with you in mind. This day, Jesus stopped by your sycamore tree and he wants you to come down because there is a rearrangement that must take place. And until you come down from where you are, you're going to remain a rich thief. Until you come down from the sycamore tree. You're going to remain a liar and a thief. Until you come down from the sycamore tree. You're going to remain in fornication and a 
adulterer you're gonna remain a murderer but Jesus is saying come down from that tree because today salvation is come to your house when Jesus gives a call it is imperative that we respond it is of utmost importance that we respond and respond correctly if Jesus says come then come I learned that that one word is used over 442 times in scripture. Come. And if Jesus calls you, come. Oh, glory to God. Some of you need a deliverance and you don't know what to do. Come. Some of you need a throb of the Holy Ghost to spur you along the way. Jesus is saying, come. Some of you are confused and troubled and messed up. and You're just topsy-turvy. Jesus is saying, come. We're struggling to find the rent. We're struggling to, to come out of debt. We're struggling with so many things that we are swallowed up and consumed with these things. Jesus is saying, come. All the things that are giving you a problem. You can't tunnel through them. And it seems to be weighing you down. Jesus is saying, come. Because when you do, hallelujah, he's going to turn things around for your good. And Zacchaeus came down. I believe that when Jesus stood at that tree and called him by name things start happen immediately watch this after Jesus called him and he made haste and come down and receive him joyfully and if that's not good and when they saw it they all murmured can I just tell you something there are some folks will murmur when God bless you oh I'm in the wrong church it seems there are some folks will backbite you when God anoints you there are some folks will chat you when God bless you. There are some folks we see all manner of evil against you when the anointing of God sits upon you. When the word of God, a rhema word hits you and you respond. Some folks will say things that is not of God. They murmured. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? It is God that bless you. And people murmur. God call you. People murmur. God watching your back and people murmur. God change your life and people murmur. God lift you out of the slum and people murmur. No Christian can't drive no good car again. No Christian can't live in no good house again. You can't wear fine clothes. The devil is a liar. God said above all things you must be in good health and prosper. When God prosper you, you must look good. When God prosper you, you must shit. You always are going to have those that don't like you because God bless you. Lift your hand and say, bless me some more, Jesus. Come on, bless me some more. And so when he made haste and came down, Zacchaeus stood 
and said, watch this. You think Zacchaeus did a plan this? When the presence of God hits you, you do what is necessary. And now you remember when you first got the Holy Ghost? What dragged you to the altar? That which convicted in the seat. You can't wait till the preacher finish. Some of you get it in the seat because the preacher take too long. Hallelujah. Why that happened is because you do what was right. You have surrendered your heart and your life right where you is. If you do it, God is ready to complete the job. Hallelujah. This man climbed down. And when he climbed down, he recognized that he climbed into the presence of the supernatural God. The only thing he could do was to confess. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord. Because by now he acknowledged him. Talk to me. By now he recognized where he was. Uh, on his way down, I can imagine... He begin to think within himself how he's going to make amends with all the monies that was gotten by Ilgain. But what is good is that Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Lord, he recognized the kingship of this God. Lord, The half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I believe he was skillful too. If you look at the language here he didn't say the half I will give. Come on. He say I give. So in a sense, he may give a little. He said, the half of my gifts I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from, from any man's false, by false accusation. Y'all acting like you never tried to worm your way out of the presence of the Lord. I'm guilty. He recognized where he was, so he wanted to strike a bargain. Hello. He says, and if I take any things by false accusation, in blay fourth will, he said, I restore him fourfold. Listen to me. When he give back the fourfold, he still have surplus. Am I speaking? I give back fourfold. Jesus said unto him, This day, I want to talk to somebody, 35 seconds, this day. You are limited in the presence of the Lord. Try you may. You ever try you ever try talking to the Lord and you start using the Queen's English? Oh, it's me alone on the light bulbs. You're limited in his presence. You're like filthy rags, the scripture says. And this man now begin to worm away to bargain with the Lord. Why? Because he recognized that there's a shortcoming in his life that must be filled today. Oh, hallelujah. So he begins to confess. He said, Lord, I will return fourfold of that which I have taken. Listen. If you ever just acknowledge the Lord, he will do the rest. 
I should hear a rousing amen. If you acknowledge him, he will do the rest. If you recognize him, he will do the rest. Zacchaeus says, Lord, I will return fourfold. God says, that's it. Says it all. Done. Salvation time. This day. After Zacchaeus speak. After the Lord has called him. The next thing the Lord says was. This day. Salvation. It's come to your house for I must abide with you. I don't know what you have that you need to relieve yourself of. Some of you might be broke like I am this day. Jesus wants to abide with you. Some of you might be so troubled with issues and situation. Jesus is saying to you today, this day, I want to abide with you. Jesus could have just closed the chapter there. And says this man is all right. Jesus ensured that he got the full course meal. He called him down. He listens to him. And then he changed his life. I stopped by today to tell somebody out of God and Christ. That this day salvation is come to thy house. God bless you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands as we stand? Come on, right where you are. Hallelujah. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my soul. As we heard the words of the Lord being shared with us, I was looking at the word come. It means to move or travel towards or into a place thought of as near or familiar to the speaker. And then it went on to say, the word come, speak to occurrence, to happen, take place. I also look at the, the meaning of down. And it, it means towards or in a lower place or position, especially to or on ground or other surface. And while I look at the two words, Pastor, come down. The Lord was speaking to me while I was sitting there. And he was saying, things can happen, but you have to come down. The place is down. It speaks to humble. The Bible said you should humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Come down was a message that was being preached to Zacchaeus. Any Zacchaeus that are present. Before any blessing 
before any healing brother Greenwood before any deliverance before God can do anything in your life your position is very important Zacchaeus thought that him going on the sycamore tree would have made things good for him but when Jesus he, he climbed up because he thought that being elevated we have to be careful how we seek help from God the songwriter said the grace to us sing it if I'm too high I don't know who this message is for if I am too exalted bring me down I don't know who this message is for but the Lord is saying to you that your position is wrong your place is wrong your attitude is wrong the altar is open yes sir I don't know if you want to reposition yourself if you want it to happen Jesus said as we look at the meaning of come it means happen it can happen but you have to reposition yourself repositioning is very important not on your terms but on God's term oh, oh it is Jesus. Jesus just come as we observe the protocols oh it is Jesus as you reposition yourself it is Jesus as you say Lord if I've made any mistakes in my soul that I should have made I'm asking you to bring me down humble me, humble me I have touched it can happen today not where you think you should be but where God is telling you come down come Altar is open. He wants to deliver you, but you've got to come Hallelujah. down. Oh, oh, it is Jesus. Down on my knees. Yes, when sorrow rises, I talk to Jesus. Come down. It is Jesus. It is Jesus. In my soul. Down, Jesus. I'm coming down, Jesus. I'm coming down, Jesus. And His blood has made me old. We're gonna sing it one more time, but I believe right where you are. If you don't even want to move, but move in your heart, move in your spirit, you can sit or stand where you are and reposition Hallelujah. yourself. If you're Hallelujah. watching us right now, you can reposition yourself. Hallelujah. Change your perspective. Change the way you're looking at how God operates. And say, God, I'm operating on your, your terms. Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, yes, it is Jesus. That's it. Oh, seems like nothing. Oh, don't be any good. Then I heard Jesus. Then I heard Jesus. Oh, he was passing. He's 
passing by. Oh, then I listen. Work on his terms. Let him avenge you, let him avenge you. For I have touched, I have touched, I've touched, I've touched. Now I have of his garment and his blood and his Stretch forth your hands as you receive him. He's stretching his hands to you. He's delivering somebody right now. Oh, yes, it's Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. You're being delivered. My soul. For I am touched. I've touched. I've touched. Him of his God. Somebody come down, somebody. Oh, and his blood. And oh, man. I'm trying, I'm trying. All I could. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, I could. Seem like nothing. Nothing is working for you. Come on. Any good. Oh, and I, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard about him. He's passing by. Oh, and I decided to give him. Oh, it is Jesus. Lift your hands and receive him. Oh, yes, it is Jesus. Oh yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus. Jesus in my soul. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Oh, I have touched the name of His God and His blood and His blood and His blood. And his blood is oh, oh, Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way. Oh, he's passing this Jesus way. is passing this way. Don't let him leave you. Hallelujah. Don't let him leave you. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. Jesus is passing this way. Oh, he's passing this way. He's passing, passing this way. Oh, Jesus is passing. This way, he's passing this way, he's passing this way oh, today. Wherever you are, lift your voice and sing, Jesus is passing your way, he's passing your way, he's passing your way, he's passing this way. Jesus is passing this way. Oh, hallelujah! Is passing this way today. Jesus is passing. Jesus is passing this way. Passing this way. This way. Passing this way. This way. This way. Touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Touch him. Let him touch him today. He's passing. He's passing your road. He's passing your situation. Oh, Jesus is passing this way. Passing your hurt. 
Pass in your disappointment. Pass in your discouragement. Pass in this way. Oh, Jesus. Pass in this way. Pass in this way. Is passing this way today. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus is passing this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. Oh, Jesus is passing this way. Oh, He's passing this way. Jesus is passing. Oh, Jesus is passing. Jesus is passing. He's passing. He's coming down your street. He's troubling the waters for somebody. He's troubling the waters for somebody. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way today. Oh, he's passing this way. Somebody lift your hands and worship God right where you are. Then whilst on others thou hast fallen, oh, do, do not pass me by, oh, Savior, Savior. Just one more time, oh, blessed Savior. Hear my humble cry. Somebody's crying. Why it's on others? Why on others? No one calls. Oh, do not pass me. Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. Oh, pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. Hear my humble cry. While on others, while on others thou art fallen, fallen, oh, to not pass me. Let me at, oh, let me at thy throne of mercy. I know, I know we have to maintain our social distancing, which is so important, and we are living in a different time. But there's nothing different about the Holy Ghost. I want you to stretch your hands towards the altar area for all those who have responded and ask God to give them a double portion. Would you do that right now? Would you do that right now? Allow God to just baptize every respondent. Every person who came to the with a touch from God, we breathe your name. We breathe your name over them, Jesus. Hallelujah. With members of this sanctuary, our visitors, first timers, persons with the Holy Ghost or without the Holy Ghost, we ask you right now to baptize them afresh. Send healing and deliverance. Send healing and deliverance. Let there be breakthrough in their families. Let there be breakthrough in their finances. Emotional stability. Financial stability. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah another blessing god another blessing god upon your people now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ we call it done in jesus name Praise God, what a move, what a move, what a move. Come on, lift your hands. Can we all stand right where you are and just thank God for the deliverance? He has done it. I want to like thank everyone for sharing this service with us. Hallelujah, both in person and we want to give God thanks. I don't know about you, but I'm happy that we are coming out of that shutdown. That anybody want to give thanks for that? Anybody want to show God some appreciation for what he has done? Come on, look what Jesus did. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We need to be grateful. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are located at 76B Winward Road, Kingston 2. And our email address is lifetabernacle6176 at gmail.com. And our number is 876 486 5112. And we are really happy to have been sharing with you for these years that we have been in this pandemic. And the Lord has brought us thus far because of His grace. Amen, 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 amen. I want to ask you to continue to share with us as we continue to share with you and you share with your friends and your family and even with your so-called enemies just share it with everybody amen with people who you even don't talk to just share it amen the lord will do the rest amen that neighbor that you don't really talk to i'm talking to somebody share the link share the bible study amen the lord can turn something around amen can we lift our hands as we repeat um, our mission statement we have a godly commitment to render our services in the pursuit of achievable goals under the divine leadership of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you as we continue to observe all the protocols. Greet somebody in Jesus' name.